In the recent Mark III review, I compared the heat up times of both the Prusa Mark III and the Mark II, and you might have noticed that small annotation I had with the Mark II being over -volted. A while ago, I had already published a video on how to do that and have your printer, any printer really, heat up way faster and reach higher temperatures, but I pulled that video shortly after because I didn't really have all the appropriate warnings attached to it. So before we start, do this at your own risk. Okay, are we clear here? Let's go. So the reason you might be doing this mod in the first place is because your printer's heaters are just not quite powerful enough for what you want. That might be the heated bed not quite reaching the temperature you need for PTG or ABS, or it's simply not being fast enough to get there. Something like the Sierra 10 actually takes like 30 minutes to heat up to 70 degrees, and that is even borderline too cold for PTG. In the early Mark II printers, the part cooling fan, this one right here, was too powerful to keep the hot in that temperature. That's fixed on the new ones, and of course on the Mark III, but it could still be something you see on your 3D printer as well. But whatever your reasoning is, Faster heat up times for the heated bed and the hot end are never a bad thing, right? So what we're going to do about that is to increase the power supply output voltage. This will in turn also drive more current through your heater. So just by turning the voltage up 5% from 12 or 24 volt, you actually get 10% more power at the heater. It's super easy to do and in most cases boosts your heater power quite a bit. What I'm about to show you on the first generation Mark II has it output 36% extra power. That means you can run the fan at full blast, or in something like the CR10 with a heated bed, which is just borderline powerful enough, you can use higher bed temperatures to print more materials or just spend less time waiting for your printer to get up to temperature. As a side effect, having more voltage in your 3D printer also makes these stepper drivers perform better, especially at higher speeds, so let's get to it. So first things first, as always, if you're working on any sort of an electrical device, turn off the power and wait a few seconds for everything to discharge inside. This mod we're about to do is also going to work on other machines that use a similar style of power supply, but of course because each machine is different in its own sort of ways, your results might vary. For the Prusa Mark II, to remove the power supply from the frame, you've got these two screws in the back and these two M4 screws in the front here that hold it to the frame. Next up, you can remove the protective shroud from the power supply by undoing these three screws, this one large one in the back and these two smaller ones on the side. Once you've got those unscrewed, you can slide the power supply cover off, but you don't have to slide it off all the way. You just need to get it off far enough to expose the small hole in the top of the cover right there. That hole lets you access the potentiometer that in turn adjusts the output voltage of the entire power supply. To adjust it, you'll need to carefully reach in there with a flathead or a Phillips screwdriver, making sure not to touch any of the components around it. And by turning it clockwise, you can increase the output voltage of the power supply. This one goes to around 13.7 volts, but others go over 14 or a bit lower. If you don't want the full effect of this mod because your power supply is at its limit already, or you have electronics that may not handle the extra current, simply don't turn it up that far or back off a bit once you reach the maximum. For my Prusa printers, the maximum position works pretty well though. As I like to say, reassembly is the reversal of the disassembly, so yeah, do that. Once you get everything assembled again, keep an eye on the power supply for a while, make sure it doesn't heat up too much, make sure that it stays cool to the touch, and also maybe check on the electronics after a few minutes of printing, just to make sure that the output transistors aren't getting too hot. One other issue you might be running into is the PID tuning of the heated bed and the hot end. However, we haven't changed the output power too much, so your old PID values, if they were well tuned, will usually still work. But of course, you can always retune them, and I've got an ancient video showing you how to do exactly that right up here. And that's the entirety of the mod. If this video helped you out by making your printer heat up a bit faster and hopefully didn't damage too much, give the video a like, get subscribed if you want to see more like it, and if you really enjoyed it, maybe consider supporting this channel directly on Patreon. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.